In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a clean and simple social media motion graphic in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion page. This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. They're having a huge Black Friday sale on their motion graphic templates and plugins that you can take advantage of in the link below. I love using motion graphics in videos. They definitely make content more visually engaging and make it easier for the viewer to follow along with information. But as you're gonna see, it can be time consuming and complicated to create even the simplest of motion graphics. So I'm also gonna show you a few of our favorite motion graphic templates that are super fast and easy to work with and customize. Now let's hop into DaVinci and get started. So in the edit page, go up to media pool, right click and choose new fusion composition. You can name it whatever you like. Five seconds should be fine for the duration. Choose create. Okay, here it is up here. So let's double click to open it up in fusion. First thing we're gonna do is go up here to the background icon and click on it to create a background node. Let's connect it to our media out with the background selected. In the inspector where it says alpha, let's drag this slider to zero so that we actually can't see the background at all. Click away and let's go up to the text plus icon. Here we go with it selected. In the inspector under text, you can write your social media tag and you'll notice we can't see anything. That's because we have to take the text output and merge it to the background. A merge node has been created. Let's select the text node and you can change the font to whatever you'd like. Adjust the size if you want to, the color. Okay. Next, let's go over to shading. And what we're gonna do is create a background for this text. So under shading element, let's select element two because we're gonna use it to create our background. Choose enable. Under the properties tab where it says appearance, let's choose this third icon in that looks like a rectangle. Under the level dropdown menu, we'll choose line. If you wanna change the horizontal width of this background, you can use the slider here. You can also use extend vertical to increase the height. I'm actually gonna go back to text and change the color to black, okay. Go back over to shading and instead of this being red, I'll choose white, awesome. Let's go back to text and we're gonna be adding a YouTube icon to the left of the text here. So what I'm gonna do is bring my cursor to the beginning of my text here in the text tab. And I'm gonna hit the space bar a couple of times to increase the length of the background in front of the text. Awesome, okay, next let's click off of the text so that it's not selected. What we're gonna do now is load an image into Fusion using the keyboard shortcut shift and the space bar which will allow us to select certain tools. In the search bar here, let's type in loader, choose add. There's our loader node. I'm gonna choose this YouTube logo. It's a PNG file, press open. Let's take this YouTube logo and merge it over, merge one so we can see it. Move this over here to get a little more organized. And with our logo selected, again, hold down shift and the space bar on your keyboard. Let's type in transform. There we go, press add. Now we have a transform node, which is gonna allow us to adjust the size of this logo. We can do that right up here in the inspector tab using the size slider. We can also adjust the Y axis up or down and our X axis as well and make a couple more adjustments. You can also round the corners if you want to like so. Let's select everything except the background and the media out and hit shift in the space bar on your keyboard again. We'll search for UND, which is the underlay tool, choose add. Underlay is basically an easy way to sort of group things together, label them all one thing. So in this case, we're gonna click off for a second, hold down alter option on your keyboard to only select the underlay, right click, and we can rename to call this social media tag. Okay, let's grab the merge to output and merge it to the background. Disconnect merge two from media out. And we wanna adjust this here so that we're taking merge three's output and connecting it with media out. So what we just did was take everything in our social media tag underlay and connect it to merge three, which we'll be using to adjust the group as a whole. The next thing we wanna do is adjust the size and position of this tag here. So with merge three selected, we can use the size slider to adjust the size and the X and Y axis to adjust the position. Somewhere around the bottom left corner is looking pretty good. Next, we're gonna create an animation. So let's bring our cursor to around 12 frames or so. 
And to the right of the X axis here, we'll add a keyframe, which is gonna hold our social media tag's current position. Let's bring our cursor all the way to zero and drag the X axis all the way to the left so our tag's off screen. Another keyframe has been automatically added to hold that position. Okay, so that's looking okay so far, but let's add a little bit of an ease in to this animation. Let's go up to the spline tab, select it, choose merge three here. That will bring up our keyframe path. If you can't see anything and you're going, what the heck's going on? Click this little zoom to fit icon. So now let's select our top keyframe on the right here. Hit F on our keyboard. Doing that adds sort of a nicer like ease in to this animation. Click on spline to hide it for now. So it's out of the way. So I'll bring my cursor to around 60 frames because I want my animation to stay on screen until then. Now I'll go back up here and select this keyframe. Bring our cursor to 72 so that over 12 frames, the animation exits the screen. Drag the X axis to the left again. We're gonna bring spline up. Choose the zoom to fit icon again. Select that last keyframe on the right there and press F to make that animation ease off screen in a subtle but more visually appealing way. All right, so when you're happy with the look of your social media tag and you're ready to export, go up to File, Export, Fusion Composition. You can save it wherever you'd like, call it whatever you'd like and press save. And we now have a social media comp that you can use in other projects. And check this out. Awesome, that looks great. So you know how we just spent like about five to seven minutes creating our own YouTube motion graphic? Well, imagine if something like that only took you a few clicks to create. This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. Their packs make spicing up your videos way faster. And I think any creator on YouTube or video editor should definitely check them out. There are tons of templates and plugins in each pack that you can customize with your own fonts, colors, logos, and more. And take advantage of their pre-created animations to customize highly engaging, sleek looking motion graphics in just a few clicks. Clicks. One thing I really love is it's not like you're gonna buy one of these packs and use one asset once. You get multiple assets in each pack that you can use over and over. Now let's hop back into DaVinci and check out some of my favorite plugins and templates, including a social media tag that's already built for us and way faster to work with and customize than what we just did in Fusion. We're in the edit page and let's bring up effects here. So instead of going through every single effect to find the pack or the effects that you're looking for, you can use the search bar up here. And I'll start by typing in MTuber3, which is a super useful pack with 72 time-saving visual tools designed with a YouTube content creator in mind. Here we are with all of the different assets that are included in the MTuber pack. You can hover, scrub over any of them to get an idea of what they look like. We have different backgrounds to work with. Calls to action, chapter bars, there are motion graphic intros where you can add your own logo and customize it. This one's a similar idea to the social media tag we made in Fusion earlier, the call to action 06. Let's drag it on top of our Toronto clip here and make some customized adjustments by selecting it and going up to the inspector tab. Let's scroll down and under title control, we can change the wording to whatever we'd like. We could also adjust the font and the color, the size. Under bar control, you can adjust the height, the width, the color. You can change the logo from 3D to 2D. Okay, that's looking good. And I actually want this to show up on the left side of the screen so we can go into settings and position it as we'd like to. Cool, that's looking good. And that took like less than a minute to customize. Another group of templates I wanna show you that I really like from the MTuber 3 pack are these corner screens. They make it super fast and easy to take your talking head clip, put it in the corner while showing something else on the screen. This is a useful effect for teaching tutorials or any other example where you'd wanna still have a talking head showing while putting emphasis on the program that you're talking about. Next, under the toolbox, let's select title and check out some more of these calls to action. There are so many that come in really handy and are super useful. I really like this one. So I will drag it above my clip. In the inspector tab under title, let's customize it. I'll decrease the size just a little bit and move the position to the bottom left corner. Under avatar controls, I would like a photo of me and Will to show where this circle is. Click browse, grab this photo here, and it's currently way too zoomed in, but that's not a problem because we can adjust the media scale slider and zoom out. Awesome. 
the avatar scale lets us adjust the size of this circle. Let's check out button controls. We should, could change the word subscribe to something else if we wanted to, but subscribe definitely makes the most sense here. We could turn the button on or off, change the font, change the color, the scale. Let's go down and pop open elements controls to change the color of the hand. So I am not actually feeling gray. Let's double click. I'm gonna keep it simple and make that thumbs up white. Okay, you could even increase the size of the hand and position if you wanted to. I'll just undo that because I'm happy with it as is. And then it animates out. We have some beautiful typography. I'm actually gonna drag MTuber3 typography 01 onto this clip of Will here. Change the text, change the subtitle text, and increase the size of it a little bit here. Under line control, we can adjust the color. Let's change red to yellow, okay. We even have the option to increase or decrease the line thickness. I actually liked it as is. In fact, that's one of the things I really like about Motion VFX's packs is they have so many great assets that just look great as is. So if you want to adjust the duration, these assets are on screen, you can just drag them longer or shorter. Cool, so let's check this out. Nice. Now, while I love Motion VFX's MTuber pack, there's some others I want to show you too that I find are super handy. M Tutorial is awesome. 107 presets come in this pack, including animated titles, placeholders, beautiful lower thirds titles, pointers, transitions, and backgrounds. M Channel Clean is another great pack to have. It comes with 59 presets, including animated openers, intros, social media tags, titles, lower third titles, overlays, backgrounds, and transitions that could be used for so many things. Travel videos, vlogs, YouTube videos, really any video project. And M Logo Channel has 50 fantastic animated customizable logos. So if you're a content creator, click the link below to check these out. And there you go. Thank you to Motion VFX for sponsoring this video and to you for checking it out. I hope it was helpful. If you wanna learn more about how to work in DaVinci Resolve, let me know specifically what you wanna learn in the comments below and maybe I'll make a tutorial on it. And Will and I release weekly videos all about filmmaking, content creation, video editing, and gear reviews. So to stay in the loop, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in another video.